Hi everyone, welcome to whatever Bitmas this is. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some clips and some fun things I made that were supposed to make it to Bitmas and they didn't quite make it, but I still want to share it with you. So here's the thing, for the last couple of weeks my shifts at work have changed because of the rising numbers of COVID. So I wasn't able to film uh, during lunchtime and you know every time your shift changes uh, you have to adapt so that was that and I also went through a pretty bad case of mouth sores I still can't speak properly because there's something on the tip of my tongue even at work it was very hard to talk for, for once I was glad I had my mask because I wasn't spitting on people but because I had sores on my lips all all around here and on my tongue. Don't worry, I talked with my doctor. I don't know what's causing it, but we are working on treatments. <laughs> so that's very ridiculous. But let's see some of the clips I have to show you and then I'll come back. Today we came to Serra da Estrela and we're trying to find some snow. Although I think there's not going to be any snow. Let me show you. But I'll show you some vegetarian food. We do have incredible landscape beautiful mountains all around. We're going to the highest point uh, on continental Portugal. There's a higher mountain in the islands. It's December, I want to see snow, so let's hope. So here we are, highest point. And this is on living in a warm place. <laughs> So this was a weekend trip and I had some delicious vegetarian food and I wanted to share with you so if you ever find yourself in Portugal you can have an idea of the kinds of dishes you can ask for um, on restaurants. So one thing that's usually easy to get, fried eggs and fries with salad, uh, not hard to get. I don't eat eggs as much but when we're out really it's sometimes hard to, to avoid. Vegan options are not that common, or if they exist, they are mushrooms. And we know how I feel about mushrooms. I respect you if you love them, but I, I, I hate them. I don't like them. This specific dish is a braz de legumes, and this was probably the most delicious thing I've ever ate as a vegetarian in a restaurant. I can't wait to have the new studio ready to come up with a similar recipe and show you because this was top notch. I loved it. And this dessert, pretty good. Look, I don't want to be conceited, but my crumble is a little bit better. This other res restaurant, I, I had like an omelette or something, I don't know, but speaking of dessert, I ate this the next day for dessert, and let me tell you, one of the best desserts ever. This is a rabanada. Rabanadas are kind of fresh toast. They are similar to French toast, but in a Portuguese way, and they served it with caramel ice cream so good. I'll show you some other clips from the trip and then I'll come back with a different thing because I have clips, other things. Hello! This is a beautiful sunset. Thank you for watching until the end, that's very cool of you. Happy Vitmas and see you next time! So culturally, Christmas is very relevant in Portugal and something I like to do at least once a year is to go to the nearest city and just um, walk around and see the pretty lights because uh, it's always so beautiful, the city is so beautiful uh, on Christmas time. There are pretty lights everywhere. Uh, where I'm sitting right now I can see, if I look that way, there are pretty lights. That way is just mountains but I can see pretty lights everywhere but uh, in the city they're usually prettier so let me show you some clips 
Also, I had a very delicious treat. Uh, I'm going to show you that too. called a tibia. It's a shoe pastry typically filled with some custard. Mine was lemon flavored um, and it was very delicious. I had mine with some hot tea. I don't like to have it with something that's very strong in flavor that's going to overpower the flavor of the tibia. Thank you for watching until the end. That's very cool of you. See you next time.